Silver. It's Wednesday, October 12th. I actually just realized that I never posted last Wednesday's episode. So you get two for the price of one. Sorry about that. Honestly, it's no wonder I, I forgot to post last week. I was just kind of out of it all week. Plus, now you get to see a few other things. Those, so there's there. So the, wow. So there's that, right? A big thank you to everyone who's been sticking around with my crazy shenanigans and forgetfulness. Welcome to those who have actually just found me as well. Okay, so for my favorite things, honestly, I cannot blame the individual who said that this should be first. I've been thinking about this for a while and thinking that it just flows better at the top of the podcast. Okay, on to the first thing. Number five for the Grays box. Uh, due to the holiday weekend, it's actually just arrived today. MCA and I have tried everything. The only two I didn't like a lot are the last two. Here, I'm going to mention them all. The first one was the whole grain banana dippers. Oh my gosh, so good. <laughs> there was the everything bagel New York style pretzel sticks. Oh my god, they are so good. There was also a honeycomb almond protein granola topper, which is pretty good as well. There was the cocoa and vanilla protein flapjack. Oh, so good. I almost wish there was more. Um, there was also the beer mustard with poppy seed pretzels. Those went very fast. Uh, we also had the snickerdoodle dip and cinnamon pretzel sticks. The summer berry cocoa compote I think is how you pronounce that in the triple berry smoothie as I mentioned yeah those last two I did not really enjoy um the snickerdoodle dip and pretzel sticks we're gonna try to hold on to for a while so I hope I can forget those right <laughs> sorry I had to take a drink of, drink of my soda soda I'm drinking coffee ha in my uh, f off I'm knitting mug I absolutely love this thank you Stephen B for that um, yeah, so speaking of coffee, I am still in love with the salted caramel coffee from Dunkin'. Oh my gosh, I can drink that all the time. Except I didn't get any to drink at home, so there's a sad panda moment right there, right? <laughs> I also really love talking movies and cartoons with the people I work with. We legitly spent at least two hours on Sunday talking about our favorite movies and 40 minutes talking about Spongebob and how a squirrel can live under the water without air. It was pretty amazing. So the second thing, or sorry, the fourth thing that I want to talk to you guys about, I am in that, absolutely in love with chocolate surprises. Hashtag ch chocolate surprises. So yes, I know I promised I wouldn't talk about work anymore, but this one story is too awesome to pass up. A friend of mine at work and I are always leaving pieces of chocolate on each other's desk. This week she yelled out, chocolate surprises, and then this hashtag was formed from it. So, I just wanted to share that a little bit with you. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention is that this week I did spend a little bit of time with my mother and sister. This past Monday, we, which is Columbia, Columbia is Columbus Day in the U.S. Wow, tongue twister and Thanksgiving in Canada. We actually went up to Stockbridge, Massachusetts for the day. We spent the day shopping in the Lee Out Outdoor Shopping Center and had lunch with, our, with her friends, Kevin, Kevin's sister, niece, nephew, and Stephanie. Some awesome times were had and a few shenanigans were gotten up to. <laughs> I won't give specifics, but we had a lot of fun, and I am so glad that I actually went with everyone this time around. Usually I skip out because I'm, you know, a douche sometimes like that. Not really a douche. I don't know what the word is, but I, I get, I'm punk. I punk out sometimes. I hate that. Anyway, so for KAL Watch 2016, the first thing I want to mention is I did get 
Um, maybe a couple rows done on the I'll get you my pretty socks. Although I just started the gusset. Then I realized I didn't really have the brain power to finish it. So to remind you, the pattern is the Toe Up Socks with a Difference by Wendy D. Johnson. It is the Witch's Brew House Gnome uh, in from No Makers. Um, size US2, 2 16 inch circulars. Yes, I, I'm probably going to be on that one for a little while, just so you all know. <laughs> okay. So for the first item up under Silver's Whip Down 2016 is the Fiery New England. It's the pattern Autumn in New England by Salem Stomberg. Uh, it is the car cardinal red and white. The white itself is, f is from Lions Brand and the cardinal red is from Red Heart Comfort Support. Absolutely love these colors together. And if you can see, I love those prog those uh, stitch markers I have on there as well. They are a mix of all the different geeky things that I actually watch and listen to and all that. I'm using a size US 6 40 inch cubic splatina by Knitter's Pride. Also in that same pattern, the Autumn in New England by Susan Stomberg. I'm calling this Teeth Hearts in New England. It's going to be made out of five different color blues. The colors are baby blue, mince prints, which you can see a little bit of now, and then there'll be a royal, a shaded blue, and navy colors. They are all Red Heart Super Saver yarns. They are all super adorable, and I love this color combo, and I cannot wait to get to each of the colors in turn. I'll show you when I get there. You'll probably love them as much as I do. Maybe not, but we'll see about that. Um, also doing this one on a size US 6, 29 inch circulars from Susan Bates. They are, it is slowly growing and once it gets out of the 29 inch circulars, I will be upgrading them to the Cubix Platinas. Um, I have another pair of those, obviously, to use. Um, so the third thing I did work on this week was what I'm calling Judy's Wrapped Up in Purple. I did the start of the second toe and had to stop until I heard back from the recipient that the first one fits properly. However, this little bit still counts. Um, this is the Toe Up Socks of the Difference by Wendy G. Johnson again um, out of the Tate colorway Barocco Socks. Obviously, as you can see, it's purple and awesome. Awesome! Uh, those are also being done in a size US 2 to 16 inch circulars. They are, they're zooming along and I cannot wait to get back to them. So I hope I hear back from Judy soon. She is my client and she is awesome and deserves those socks. The second thing that I worked on, or sorry, the fourth thing I worked on this week was my watermelon socks. I did just after the heel and I love the way they are knitting up. The pattern is also the Sew Up Socks of the Difference by Wendy D. Johnson out of the Watermelon Sock Blank by Gail's Art. Oh my god, it's so adorable. See this heel? It's very simple construction, but I absolutely love the way it's knitting up. And see, this is the front part of that sock. Oh, I got to a couple rows after that heel turn and everything, and I was I, I couldn't do anymore, but oh, I'm... I'm wanting to get back to it, but I've got too much on the needles right now. Um, just so you know, I'm also doing those on the size US2 to 16 inch circulars. Absolutely, absolutely love the way they are knitting up. I cannot say much, too much about that. The next thing that I started actually Monday while I was on the, in the car with my, my mother and my sister, I am calling now the Snape. Snapey love. They are a pair of socks for my husband MTI. The pattern is called Snape Stockings by Erica Luter. This is amazing. I have never ever used uh, size 2 uh, DPNs um, before and so far I don't see a real difference in my gauge and they fit more MTI pretty well. I'm very surprised. Um, it is the Trekking XXL. I don't remember the name of the color, the number of the colorway, but it is blues and oh, absolutely gorgeous. It's sitting in, believe it or not, it's actually sitting in a Harry Potter bag that I have. So yay for being a geek. I absolutely love it that I can match stuff like that. Um, the last thing that I am working on, I am calling... <laughs> sorry hitching a ride on the gray train the pattern is hitchhiker by martina bem uh it is the gray moral patents croy colorway 
I'm doing this on a size US 6 40 inch cubic splatina by Knitter's Pride. It is coming out absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to get going on it. Um, you won't be able to see from this angle, but I did only a couple of points. Um, I'll have to put a stitch marker next time. Somebody remind me. All right, so the next thing up, guess what, y'all? I have a finished object this week. You ready? This is the test knit. This is the Franken peach that I started talking about last week. It's um, right now it's being called the MLM Hemlin May Shawl by Boston Jen. Um, she does have another handle on Ravelry. Sorry, Jen, I cannot remember to save my life, but absolutely love the way your shawl came out. Um, this is the Frankenberry by Pandia's Jewels and the Giant Peach by the Dreaming Colors Smushy. People love those colorways together. It's absolutely soft, and I've gotten so many compliments from people at work. Actually, may get a couple of commissions and may have to see what I can do about that. Anyway, um, they this is being was made on a size US 6 40 inch cubic splatina by Knitter's Pride. If you were to knit this pattern, um, Jen does recommend at least a 29 inch circulars. Um, I really liked those needles, so I wanted to use them. <laughs> I may do them on a shorter cable needle next time, though. So, uh, yeah, I spent a little bit of time in the frog pond this week, just a little bit. Um, I had been slowly working on a swirl hat pattern by Tin Can Knits out of a cotton yarn. Um, yeah, I decided this week that I really, really, really was not enjoying it. So I just ripped it out and uh, rib it, rib it. All right, on to enabling. To be fair... This was ordered before I put myself on the yarn diet. Don't get me wrong, I did kind of fall hard with my purchases this week, but I will talk about them when they come in the mail, which may not be until next week. Um, this one is actually a very, very special colorway now. Um, it's called Orange You, Orange you Glad It's Pink. It's actually by the Suburbs Craft Room. I did buy this off of Muckle P-U. I'm gonna just gonna spell it M-U-C-K, then L, P as in Peter U. The number is 1986 on Ravelry, and she actually shipped to me from Austria. It came on Saturday night. It's super pretty, and I hope to participate in an informal KAL for Megan um, that's going on on Instagram. I don't know if anyone's actually seen it. I will let you do a quick, quick, quick search on Instagram. Um, it's the hashtag F-O-R-M-A-E-G-A-N-K-A-L. Um, if you have any Cyborg's craft room, it's kind of an informal KAL where you just do anything that you can out of that yarn and you just use the hashtag and we all share. Um, if you hadn't heard, um, Megan had passed away a little while ago and we're just kind of honoring her, her, fa her sense of color and everything. And I am so glad I was able to at least get one to participate in this KAL. I think I'm going to make socks. Don't know what I want to make out of it yet, but. I'll get there. I promise I have time. <laughs> All right. Oh, tea. Okay. Anyway, um, so what you watching, Silver? Let's see. I watched a lot of Doctor Who. I watched season five uh, from episode two through episode two of season six. Oh, so much going on. So much. And I don't want to spoil it for those that watch that you know normally like to go through it and haven't watched particular episodes they really like over and over again um however I did finish um the whole series so far of Scream I'm gonna say it was pretty corny but then again it was predictable because all the Scream movies really are um I am a big fan of horror slasher movies but I can predict really quickly what's going to happen. And I'm sure if you watch those type of movies all the time, you'll be able to. Let's see. I also was watching a lot of Gilmore Girls this week, uh, up to season the end of season four. I have been catching up with every one of the podcasts that I watch. Um, most especially, I've been binge-watching Geeky Girls Knit Podcasts a lot. They're absolutely awesome. And I cannot say enough. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Knit Pearl. Anyway, um, let's see. What are you watching, Silver? Well, what you watching? We just did that, didn't we? I am so good at this game. 
So what you read in silver? Well, let's see. I did just finish High Five by Janet Ivakovich and The Rock Chick Rescue by Kristen Ashley. Those two books are absolutely amazing. They have wonderfully strong female characters that just crack the living heck out of me. I just could not stop reading it. <laughs> Way! So good. Um, so currently I am reading Hot Six, which is the next book in that series by Jana, Jana Ivakovich. I've um, also been listening to 12 Days of Christmas by Debbie May Comer. I saw on Audible, got a notification from them saying that this book was in and just in time for the holidays. I'm good with it. I'm good with listening to it. Um, I'm not normally a you need to listen to holiday slash Christmas books or movies or anything like that prior to Halloween, but this one I just kind of had a moment of weakness. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, but Debbie May Comer is Debbie May Comer. She's one of my favorite authors. Um, I've also been listening to the BBC version of Jane Austen, the Jane Austen books. Um, still so much in love with this book even though I haven't really had much time to listen to it I'll have to, I have to dive back in there really really quickly all right so my final thoughts for this week I am actually pretty social you can find me on our Ravelry board which is Silver's Dream Lad podcast I am Silver Luna 2112 there on Facebook, Silver's Dreamland can be found at www.facebook.com backslash Silver's Dreamland. On Instagram, I am both Silver Streets and Silver's Dreamland. On Twitter, I am at Silver's Knitting. I do also tend to read through all messages as soon as I possibly can. If you don't hear from me within 24 hours, please feel free to email me directly at silversdreamland at gmail.com. It's probably the best way to reach out to me. <laughs> Anyway, have a great week, everyone. Happy crafting.